In the real world, sine waves can be used to model physical phenomena that oscillate back and forth, or up and down, or change smoothly between two values. This type of motion is present in pendulums, alternating current, springs, vibrations, rotating or spinning objects, or waves such as sound waves, light waves, and ocean waves. Here's a video from MIT showing a spray paint can suspended by a spring system. You can see that the oscillating motion is described by a sine wave, or cosine wave. The shapes are the same. Suppose we wanted to model the height of the wave above the surface of the desk using an equation featuring the sine function. The paint line oscillates up and down between, we'll just say, 40 and 60 centimeters above the desktop. But the sine wave oscillates up and down between negative 1 and 1. So clearly, we need to apply some transformations to the sine wave to get it to model the oscillating motion of the spring system. It's time for some sine wave vocabulary. Midline. The midline is the horizontal line midway between the highest and lowest points of a wave. For a simple sine wave, the highest point is positive 1, and the lowest point is negative 1. So the midline of the sine wave is right between the line y equals 0. Often, we'll refer to the midline just as the y value, with the understanding that it's actually a line. So, the midline is 0 means the midline is the line y equals 0. But it's never wrong to specify the midline as an equation. For the painted line, the highest point is 60 centimeters, and the lowest point is 40 centimeters. So the midline is 50 the average of 60 and 40. To account for the non-zero midline, we can transform the equation y equals sine theta by adding 50 like this, y equals sine theta plus 50. We don't usually put units in the equation, rather we're told the units when we're given the context of the equation. For example, the distance above the desk in centimeters is given by the equation y equals sine theta plus 50. So we know the units are centimeters, but they're not explicitly present in the equation. The midline adjustment is called the vertical shift, and is often represented in generic trig equations by the capital letter D. Well, our equation still doesn't describe the paint line very well, because y equals sine theta plus 50 has a highest point of 51, when sine theta equals 1, and a lowest point of 49 when sine theta equals negative 1. It's time for another vocabulary word, amplitude. Amplitude is the positive vertical distance from the midline to the highest or lowest point of the curve. Those numbers will be the same since the midline is right between them. We always consider amplitude to be positive. The amplitude stretches or compresses the vertical distance of the sine wave, so that its maximum and minimum points can be more or less than one unit away from the midline. For the paint line, the amplitude is 10, since the midline is 50 and the maximum and minimum values are 60 and 40. To account for the amplitude in our model equation, we multiply the trig function term by the amplitude like this, y equals 10 sine theta plus 50. This seems to be a better fit for the paint line. 10 sine theta can be as high as 10 when sine theta is 1, and as low as negative 10 when sine theta is negative 1. So to this, we add the vertical shift of 50 to make the oscillating range of our trig equation correspond to the range of the oscillating paint line. When expressing transformed trig equations in general terms, the amplitude is usually given the variable capital A. So we have a general form of the equation that looks like this, y equals a sine theta plus d. To this general equation, we'll add two more parameters in the next video. Let me show a problem that will highlight some important points about parameter a. This curve represents a plane sine wave, y equals sine theta. We want to model this curve with an equation. What's the equation? In your class, you'll need to work these problems in both directions, meaning you'll be given a curve on a graph and asked to find its equation, 
and you'll be given an equation and asked to draw its curve. In this case, we're given a curve and we're asked for the equation. The midline is easy to find by inspection, so when given a graph, we start by determining the midline, which will correspond to the D parameter. The maximum and minimum points are 3 and negative 3, respectively, so the midline is 0. This means no vertical shift, so the D parameter is 0, and we just leave it off of the equation. The amplitude is 3, but if we let A equal 3, as shown by the dimly shaded curve, we'll have stretched the sine wave, which we want, but our curve will always be opposite the wave we're trying to model. When we let A be a negative number, the sine wave is inverted, and this wave pattern matches the physical phenomenon we're trying to model. So the equation for the sine wave is y equals negative 3 sine theta. When parameter a is negative, the curve flips about the midline. And even though parameter a is negative, the amplitude of the curve is still positive. Amplitudes are never negative. So we can refine our definition of amplitude to be the absolute value of parameter a. Let's summarize what we've covered. The midline is the line midway between the maximum and the minimum points on the curve. The y value of the midline is the average of the curve's minimum and maximum value. As a shorthand, we often say the midline is the y value. In the general trig function equation, it's denoted by d. The midline is d, or more formally, y equals d. The amplitude is the vertical distance from the midline to either the maximum or minimum point. It's easy to calculate by just taking the y value of the maximum point and subtracting the y value of the midline. In the general trig function equation, it's the absolute value of a. So even if we invert the curve with a negative value for a, the amplitude is still positive. There's a supplemental video, TR-42X, with some extra problems. In the next video, TR-43, we'll cover the last two parameters of the general trig function equation.